join us for a paradise walking tour down a lovely touristic village situated right next to Benidorm town. Incredible views, fresh air, and many lovely bars and restaurants to discover. Welcome to Albir. Welcome to the sunny, gorgeous village situated just a couple of kilometers from Benidorm town, to be exact, between Benidorm and Altea. And it's a great place where international guests not only come on holidays, but many people start to live here whole year long, or at least have a second holiday home where they spend cold winters of their country in a gorgeous, lovely climate. Let's have a short walking tour and discover Albir right now in 2024. There's some lovely restaurants here with menus of the day for quite affordable pr prices, 17 euros for adults, 7, 8 euros for children. This is a very nice uh, Chinese Asian style restaurant situated on the main avenue of Albir. And a lot of people, a lot of subscribers of our channel too, actually love it. They say it's one of the best ones here. So try it out if you still did not do so. Right in front of us, we have some more cafeterias. The main avenue has all the businesses. There's some lovely cafe bar places, phone shops where you can top up your phone. You can buy a new one. There is a repair center. You can print something if you need or call abroad pharmacies as you can see pharmacies here are open from monday till saturday saturdays it's up until midday and uh, one or two days a week they're open on sundays uh, too and then we have supermarkets of course albir in general counts with this supermarket that is called consum this is a valencian brand plus we have mercadona aldi lidl and mendoza supermarkets so the variety of products and also international ones that you can find here is quite quite a big bus stops this one goes back to benidorm and the side where we are located right now will bring you towards aldea town that is also really recommended during your holidays here in the lovely costa blanca region obviously there's taxi stops which is right in front of us you can also call for the taxi don't forget that albir is not benidorm and altea alfas all the other areas so here we still do not use the taxi coin app so bear that in mind some shops with branded clothing even ugo boss armani Tommy Hilfiger, uh, children's uh, women men's different types of casual something more dressed up you can find it out here whole entire shop for sports and they tend to have quite big discounts too then you have press here you can purchase a bottle of water for one euro you have maps you have books with all the use information about costa blanca in different languages and a lot of other things like souvenirs some magnets for example for your fridge uh, teeny tiny souvenirs and obviously postcards if you want to purchase uh, some Nearby, there's some more shops located. This is for accessories and bags mostly. Plus, a lot of lovely small cafeterias, bars, restaurants located out here. Even burger only place, that's right there in front, Fanelli's. Actually, very, very nice burgers. Not the cheapest ones, I must say. They are on a higher price level. However, worth to try there are many different bars, restaurants, and cafeterias in this area. And to be honest with you, it tends to be really, really busy. It's a different type of tourism. It's where you have couples, solo travelers. There's a lot of people from Scandinavian countries, from Netherlands, Belgium, uh, France too. And people tend to search for quality holidays, like something slightly more quiet, something nature related and obviously if he wants to go out somewhere for dancing or night shows Benidorm is just a couple of minutes away but this paradise village as I always like to call it myself has everything absolutely everything that you might need during your holidays or even for a living here if you choose to do so 
in front some more uh, banks and then places where you can grab some nice freshly pressed juice vegan options or gluten-free options some teeny tiny pastry places and bakeries a place like a butcher where you can get some meat um, products and what we actually do have a lot here obviously apart from bars and restaurants are nail salons and different types of uh, hairdressers and aesthetic places this is something that in Albir we have so so many of them it's actually unbelievable obviously we also have a lot of dental clinics too in case you need something like this right here in front of us we have a nice square where a lot of businesses are hiding the rent of bicycles mobility scooters then you have the dog house pub the mix cafe and also a nice place it's like a restaurant type of style which is right here it's called links international restaurant here we have a menu you have starters salads chicken and bacon prices are quite nice you can zoom it in if you want korean house specialties oh that's nice back of baby lamb oh okay all right prices are quite competitive i must say that's because not a lot of people know this place exists this square and they do not tend to go here so obviously prices need to be slightly competitive so that people would go inside and try their food because it might be really really good who knows if you've tried it let us know if you've been to any of these places that you'll see in today's video menu plate better to say plate of the day for this day which is thursday chicken in the oven with potatoes eight euros that's one plate okay that's not a menu that's just a plate ice cream places right in front of us we have a place where they sell herbal infusions different types of natural remedies too if you are into these things this is where you could purchase them natural vitamins teas etc shoe shop shoe complements uh, mostly bags this is quite on the expensive side you have some uh, very popular spanish brands there and international too like for example ugo boss or armani some clothing shops obviously have to be here it's a touristic area so you can purchase some nice summer style dress a skirt a blouse shorts whatever you wish uh, to enjoy during your holidays and then bring back home there are some touristic apartments these ones right here playa albir they're called this is from the bcl group they also have some apart hotels inside of benidorm indian restaurant they say it's authentic indian cuisine but it's a typical one when you go to the indian restaurant it's a typical menu that you will potentially find quite popular bar players the local pub very popular especially between international residents and tourists i've seen a lot of people going there and quite a few subscribers we've met there too snack bar in albir we have a well obviously i can only guess what it is but i can see fries soft ice cream maybe fries very nice fries with different toppings seven euros but that's like a big portion of fries we have a kebab place with roast chicken and some and some different types of uh, more turkish type of products and different bars and cafeterias here where a lot of people even locals come for a nice cup of coffee or a breakfast or some snacks also this is where a lot of football matches are being watched here in albir bus number 10 just passed by you can see it right there in front of us going to Aldea. and here right next to the postal office we have some information this is faro del albir this is the viewpoint of the lighthouse of albir and from here you can get directly to the natural park look at how gorgeous this looks like it's it's a paradise place with the incredible terrace one of the best views cafe albir is offering us which is why it's so busy look at that so many people are on the sunshine enjoying some nice drinks and snacks with great great views on the bottom we have a lot of other different bars that are hidden right below these palm trees the anchor square is where the beach of albir officially begins this is where a lot of people gather together this is where also summer summer celebrations are held like 
concerts, dancing, or even summer market that is located right here nearby, where you can find handmade products, elaborated soaps, or refreshing types of tablets made of natural ingredients for your wardrobe or a closet, and handmade paintings, jewelry, and much, much more. And only by stopping here for a second, you can already see what Albir is all about. Right by the beach here, downstairs, you can find the tourism information office, which will give you all the usual information that you need to know about future events that will be happening here. Maybe some concerts, which are quite common in summer season during the peak months of tourism here in the region. They'll let you know if something else interesting is going on around the area. They'll give you flyers, they give you information about maybe some typical places where to eat. And obviously you can speak with them in English. So that would be a very comfortable way and fast way of getting to know what to do here in the area apart from all our videos. As you know, the vast majority of people here are coming for nature. We have a gorgeous natural park. We have a walk, complete walk up until the lighthouse. Uh, and it takes you about an hour to complete, more or less, if you will stop in different places. But the views are stunning and spectacular. And it def it's definitely worth going through some small paths, enjoying the fresh air and the smell of lavender and different aromatic herbs. And we actually offer this tour on our channel if you would like to do a guided tour with us. And you can check it out on our official website, Benidorm by Anna Tours. Apart from that, obviously the walk by the promenade, the beach, the Romain Rest Museum with a short movie about how people lived here back then and how first people actually lived, what they did and how they gotten into the olive oil production, wine and fishing. And now let's continue our walk down the lovely beach promenade. With some slight wind, there are waves, but not big ones. The colors of the sea are looking gorgeous today. There are quite a lot of people on the beach enjoying the great weather and the sunny day that we have. Others prefer to sit down on the benches right below these lovely palm trees and enjoy the views from here. And third ones decide to go to bars and cafeterias to spend a comfortable morning with a cup of their favorite drink or snack. Some of these bars are closed right now because they will be opening up slightly later in the day others are open and quite busy obviously the closer to the sea the busier the place will be and the less free space you will see closer to the beach promenade here you can find freshly pressed orange juices you can get some typ typical spanish tapas cocktails mocktails snacks salads uh, hamburgers uh, bocadillos toast coffee tea and much much more even whole meals are available in this part and look at this it is really really busy today so many bicycles are parked right at the street so many people travel with them or with electric scooters people are coming here to enjoy the day because it's actually worth it an expensive restaurant el nautic del albir this is where you can find seafood, fish, meat. However, if you want to try an authentic Spanish restaurant, you have a special occasion, so you don't mind on spending slightly bigger amount of money. The restaurant Enrique is the one we would recommend you here in Albir. They bring fish directly from the sea, sea, from the port. And a lot of the times they bring it on the trays and they make an exposition of it and you can choose which one you want. It's slightly more expensive, yes, but you will see something typical, authentic from here. And meals are actually quite delicious, especially the rices and seafood. So 
check it out if you're looking something for a special occasion it's not located on the front line of the sea which might be a minus but it's really really close here by the seashore by the beach we have some information about our lovely park of sierra helada and as you can see it connects albir with benidorm there are some interest points there are some places i recommend you to go different types of routes difficulties they put you the level the amount of the amount of time that needs to be invested and you can check the best route for yourselves and maybe the easier ones if you're not used to sports and just want a relaxing lovely walk at the nature right in front of us we have Altea we have Calpe and the beach that receives more and more people each time and I even see someone willing to go into the sea which is absolutely incredible the water is barely 16 degrees maybe even less but still people are going in in bare feet right in front we have Fundacion Frax this big building usually is holding different expositions of art gallery like photography too and they change it every now and then after pandemics we did not see expositions there for quite a while however this place uh, they say it in spanish and in valencian but basically this is called the attention point for assisted bathing or swimming and this is where people that have mobility issues can come so that personal the trained staff would help them to go into the water and have a nice time into the mediterranean sea because that's also really really good as therapy in a lot of cases due to the saltness of the water by the way our beach of albir usually always receives the blue flag too which means that it has a very very high quality and for quite a few years now already the stones the pebbles are not as big and the beginning of the beach right by the water is actually sand it's almost sand so it's really comfortable and it's not as bad at all try it out if you've never been here it's way quieter than benidorm town is the only thing that we do not like is that it's quite deep from the very beginning so if you're not a good swimmer you need to take some necessary precautions just in case the city center well the village center technically and the beach promenade are quite usual road they're not steep there is no hills going down or climbing up only the residential area is quite hilly higher up the mountain where we do have some of the hotels so make sure you check out where your hotel is located if you're coming here on holidays because you might be surprised if you cannot climb that often so you would need to take a taxi or mobility scooter or something extra because there's no buses running to the top of the hill and uh, it takes some time to go especially if you're tired after the beach which is why a lot of hotels if you stay here slightly higher up in the mountain offer you the beach taxi service it's like a shuttle bus that goes more or less every hour every half an hour to bring people to the beach or to the center of the village and then picks them up back again whenever they say they will be uh, ready so this is actually a great service a lot of the hotels here are offering apart from the normal road where people are doing some sports people are even running you'll see it in a second uh, this is ideal for small children for families for solo travelers for couples and people love it due to the quality the microclimate that we have here the amazing amount of food oh hi just seen some of our lovely subscribers right here um nice couple they follow us they came here till beyond holidays so i hope you'll be having some amazing holidays uh here in the area they love albir altea and it's nice when you see people discover the areas thanks to our videos we really really appreciate all those of you who watch our content here on the channel Benidorm Bayana and those who continue to subscribe so that we could grow our incredible and amazing YouTube family and right by the country ribs and steakhouse uh, by the way a lot of people like it let us know if you've been to one 
if you enjoyed the food here the say ribs are really really nice and in general meat is really nice right by it altea town starts not a lot of people know it but from here it's technically altea and everything that you see right here is still albir albir is an incredible place to visit during your holidays either if you come here from benidorm just to spend a day or from altea or you've decided to stay on holidays here in albir in general it's a quiet very very relaxing quality place to stay you have a lot of paths the natural park that we have right behind us which is called sierra helada check out our videos about it because it's definitely worth seeing even if it's just for some nice pictures you know but all the fresh air it's so revitalizing and energizing that you'll have even way more energy after going to this park trust me there's a lot of paths there's a lot of history nice plants flowers herbs and if you are enthusiastic about trying something new you can even rent a boat trip as some of the people are doing out here to enjoy even more of their holidays there's scuba diving there's renting a boat for fishing for a party just relaxing uh, a lovely tour with a boat you can get some jet skis and much much more or simply rent a bicycle and have a lovely stroll by the albir beach up until altea and have a complete day outside exploring non-stop You've seen some of the hotels that are located upside, right down up the hill. There is only one hotel with sea views and some more situated in the center. But even the furthest one, you could still go walking everywhere you need. And people that come here always return. Thank you for accompanying us on today's short walking tour down one of our top favorite small touristic villages by the seashore albir right next to benidorm we wish you a lovely day and we'll see you in a new video tomorrow with the latest benidorm news bye geez.